So this is a fiber optic cable. This is the male part. This is the female part. Uh, usually behind the radio you'll have two males like this. Um, you'll also notice little arrows pointing down or up. Basically fiber optic has inbound and outbound signal. You can't really mess them up. If they do get mixed up, you just reverse them and everything works properly. To open up a fiber optic connection, you'll notice a little release right here on the inside. Either a flat pick tool or sometimes your fingernail or a flathead screwdriver. But you're basically pushing the tab over to one side to release it and then this pops out. This is the raw connection. This little blue part is what's locking it in place. Um, so naturally you want to be left, I believe, with the light orange. Those are the factory connections. Dark orange is more of an aftermarket stuff, so that's the one you want to remove. Poke down and pop out on the smaller portion of the blue part. You'll notice this is starting to come up. So that removes the lock on both fiber optic connections. Sometimes just holding the black connector and pulling on it will get it out. Otherwise, come back with your little flathead screwdriver or pick tool. And on the back side's like a little retainer. So by lifting it up and pulling at the same time, that allows it to come out. So whichever one you're pulling out of the old connector is usually the one you're replacing into the new connector or stock connector. And then to push it back in, just give it a little push. You might hear a click and it'll lock in place. And then this little blue tab is what's keeping it completely secure. To go back into the connector or the quick release, it only goes in one way. It's got like a angled edge and just push it in, you'll hear it click, and you're good to go. That is how you open up uh, a fiber optic connector on a Porsche, Mercedes, BMW, and that's usually the process you're gonna use when you're adding accessories or replacing accessories. Thanks, YouTube.